The 2025 Comet Swarm. What if four separate bullets fired from the depths of space were all scheduled to fly past Earth at the exact same time? That's what's happening right now in late 2025, but with giant comets. Did you know that an event like this, four massive comets, including one confirmed interstellar visitor, crowding our skies simultaneously is so rare that less than 0.01% of all recorded astronomers have ever witnessed it. Our solar system is hosting a cosmic spectacle that has rewritten the observing schedules for every major telescope on the planet. A group of giant comets, including one from outside our solar system called 3 divided by I Atlas, are all passing by Earth at the same time. This has never happened before like this. These comets could teach us new things about where they come from and how they formed. Why are so many giant comets showing up now? What will they reveal before the year ends? Here's how this incredible comet gathering began. Four massive comets in one season is extremely rare. Usually we see just one or two comets at a time, but now it's like a cosmic traffic jam. Observatories around the world are working hard to keep up. Both professional scientists and amateur astronomers with backyard telescopes are busy every clear night tracking these comets and collecting data. Each comet needs immediate attention because they change quickly, sometimes in just hours. These changes might not happen again for decades. The lineup is remarkable. There's three divided by I Atlas, the visitor from interstellar space traveling on an unusual backward path. Then there are three bright comets, Lemon, Swan, and K1. Atlas all passing close to the sun at the same time, crowding the space near Earth's orbit. This forces astronomers worldwide to carefully balance their time and resources because they don't want to miss any sudden changes or outbursts. The challenge is huge. Teams across continents are coordinating their telescopes to catch every moment. Why does this matter so much? Each comet acts like a natural laboratory, showing us how solar wind and the sun's energy shape their tails and jets. When several comets are active together, scientists can compare how they behave under similar conditions. This is priceless for science. These aren't just pretty pictures. They're live experiments teaching us about dust, plasma, chemistry, and our solar system's history. For many researchers, this is a once in a lifetime event. Time is running out. These observation windows won't last long. Soon, the comets will fade and drift away. The next time something like this happens, we might not have the same technology or knowledge we have today. Every observation matters right now. A packed schedule. The comet season started on July 1st, 2025, when a team in Chile found three divided by I Atlas. When they calculated its path, they discovered something incredible. This comet came from beyond our solar system. Its backward orbit at 175.1 degrees proved it. For months, it traveled toward the Sunday. Then on October 21st, it moved behind the sun from Earth's view and disappeared. Four days later, on October 29th, it reached its closest point to the sun at 1.36 astronomical units AU. Now, astronomers must wait until late November or December for it to reappear so they can study it again. Meanwhile, Comet Swan has already finished its show. This comet, called C, divided by 2025 R2, Swan, made its closest pass to the sun on September 12th, getting within half an astronomical unit, 0.5 AU. Now it is moving away and getting dimmer each day. Its best viewing time is almost over. The current star, that's Comet Lemon, or C, divided by 2025A1, Lemon. This amazing comet is heading toward its closest sun approach on November 8th at 0.53 AU. Lemon is incredibly active, shooting out jets and creating spiral patterns that change in just minutes. Everyone from amateur sky watchers to professional scientists loves observing it. It's become the main focus of worldwide observation efforts, especially after a team in Tenerife captured images of twin spiral jets on its surface in October. Then there's the grand finale coming up. Comet K1 Atlas, 
C divided by 2025 K1, is still on its way in. It will reach its closest point to the Sun on December 31st at just 0.33 AU, the closest of all four comets this season. Scientists are still working out how bright it will be, but this close pass has already made it a top target for year-end observations. This schedule is more than just dates. Each moment is a unique, singular chance. The way these comets move through space, especially three divided by I Atlas's unusual path from outside our solar system, means no two viewing opportunities will be the same. When each comet gets closest to the sun, it becomes most active. But that's also when we have the shortest time to study it. For astronomers everywhere, the coming months offer different viewing chances each night and the possibility of major discoveries. The Atlas survey's success in finding both three divided by I Atlas and K1 Atlas shows how important sky monitoring has become. The interstellar messenger. Now, here's what makes this truly special. Three divided by I Atlas is completely different from the other comets. Its path isn't just tilted. It's hyperbolic with an angle of about 175 degrees. These numbers tell us something important. Three divided by I Atlas doesn't belong to our solar system. It came from interstellar space, passed through our solar system upside down, and will leave forever, never to return. For scientists, this is an extremely rare chance to study material that has traveled through the galaxy for millions or billions of years. This isn't just a rock, it's a pristine probe from another star's neighborhood. What makes three divided by I Atlas so valuable is its chemistry and history. The Very Large Telescope, James Webb Space Telescope and Hubble Space Telescope have studied it and found carbon dioxide, water, ice, carbon monoxide, cyanide, nickel, and other chemicals. This mix is both familiar and strange. The familiar part, the water, the CO, the CO2, suggests the basic building blocks of life are common across the galaxy. But the strange part is the ratio of these chemicals. Three divided by I Atlas shows different abundances, particularly a high level of carbon monoxide ice that remained frozen, suggesting it formed in an extremely cold region, far colder than our own Oort cloud. These differences show it formed far from our sun day. As it got closer to the sun, carbon dioxide became the main gas driving its activity. These measurements aren't just a list of chemicals. They're clues about where the comet formed, and what happened during its long journey through space. Was it ejected from a nascent solar system? Or did it form in a dark, cold, molecular cloud, never belonging to any star until it blundered into ours? The data from this flyby is our only chance to start answering that. Scientists trace three divided by I Atlas's path backward through our galaxy using powerful computer models. After running thousands of simulations, they found it likely came from a metal-rich area filled with young stars about 100 million years ago. This region, known for its stellar nurseries, is a chaotic place where gravitational interactions frequently kick objects like this out into the void. The comet's speed and direction prove it wasn't thrown out by nearby stars. For scientists, three divided by I Atlas, is a messenger from deep space carrying unique information, solar winds, and comet tails. The sun's activity is actively changing these comets. Recently, massive solar storms called CMEs, coronal mass ejections, have been shooting through space. These are huge blasts of hot plasma moving at incredible speeds. When a CME hits a comet, dramatic changes happen fast. The tail can break off, jets can twist or brighten, and the whole comet can look different in just hours. Scientists use spacecraft and computer models to predict when these storms will hit comets. Real-time data alerts observatories and amateur astronomers to watch for changes. NASA warnings have already matched actual changes in comet tails, proving solar storms directly affect comets. For three divided by I Atlas, these CMEs are important. Right now, it's hidden behind the sun, but models show solar storms pass through its location. When it reappears in late November or December, astronomers will look for damaged, broken tails or changed jets. The same applies to lemon, swan, 
and K1 atlas. Each comet's appearance shows not just its chemistry, but records the sun's activity in plasma and dust. On a mountaintop in Tenerife, a team watched something amazing. Using fast cameras, they saw Comet Lemon shoot out two jets that spiraled and changed shape in real time. These jets pulsed with energy and twisted, sometimes changing completely in under five minutes. The movement showed the comet spinning while throwing out material in regular bursts. The team found these spiral patterns weren't random. They matched what scientists expect from a spinning object releasing gas from specific spots. Special instruments revealed charged molecules like CO plus and H2O plus ions in the jets. These showed intense chemistry as sunlight and solar wind stripped electrons from escaping gases. These charged particles react instantly to sunlight changes, making the jets sensitive indicators of what's inside the comet. The team's fast imaging was essential. Changes every minute would be invisible with single photos. Only by combining many images could they watch the jet evolve and spiral. The result was a real-time record showing how gases, dust, and solar energy create beautiful and scientifically important structures. The Tenerife data shows how much we can learn when scientists are ready to capture a comet's brief moments. The final mysteries of 2025 Comet Swan is now drifting away from the sun, fading into space. For scientists, it's become a stable reference point, briefly active, but now used for comparison. However, Swan left mysteries. Images show its tail split in two, and reports suggest it may have broken apart, challenging earlier models. The mystery here is why it split. Was it a simple rotational breakup where the nucleus spun itself apart? Or did it suffer a catastrophic outgassing event, a pocket of trapped superheated ice that exploded like a grenade, splitting the comet's core? The data is ambiguous, and these puzzles have scientists rethinking how solar wind and comet structure work together. Comet K1 Atlas is different. It's approaching closer than any other comet this season, just 0.33 AU from the Sunday. This makes it unpredictable. This is well inside the orbit of Mercury, where solar radiation is incredibly intense. Models suggest it might explode or break apart when solar heating gets extreme. Comets on such close paths, known as sun grazers, often shatter and no one can predict when. If it does disintegrate, it won't be a silent death. It will likely unleash a massive, sudden cloud of dust and gas, potentially becoming brilliantly bright for a few days before fading forever, a final spectacular fireworks show. The astronomy community is also debating how quickly to share data and who gets credit for discoveries. As the year ends, K1 Atlas remains the biggest question mark. A comet's tail is more than gas and dust. It's a natural laboratory for plasma physics. When sunlight heats the comet's core, ice turns to gas, releasing charged particles. The solar wind sweeps these away and the Lorentz force makes them spiral along magnetic field lines, sculpting the tail in real time. The tail can bend, kink or break off when magnetic conditions change. Inside the tail, double layers form where charge is separate, creating electric fields that last hours or days. These double layers are one of the most mysterious aspects of plasma physics. They are invisible, paper-thin boundaries that can accelerate particles to high energies, acting like natural particle accelerators millions of miles long. Dust moves slower than ions, creating arcs and spirals. This explains why comets show both a straight blue ion tail and a curved yellowish dust tail. Understanding these effects is crucial for interpreting comet images. Quick changes or strange shapes aren't random. They're signatures of charged particles interacting with shifting magnetic fields. For anyone watching the sky, these patterns show plasma physics in action across millions of kilometers. A call to observers. This rare comet season needs more than just watching from the sidelines. Backyard telescopes, remote observatories, 
and even good binoculars become real scientific tools. The International Asteroid Warning Network, IAWN, has called for coordinated observations as three divided by I Atlas prepares to reappear from behind the Sunday. They want stacked time series images and precise measurements, especially after late November. For Comet Lemon, rapid changes mean even short observing sessions can capture something new. Amateur astronomers recording image sequences and processing them with free software are helping track changes that large facilities might miss. IAWN bulletins flag priority targets and alert everyone to sudden outbursts or tail breaks for near-sun imaging. Patience and technique pay off. Single photos are noisy and unreliable, but stacked images reveal detailed structure and movement. Avoid sensational headlines or unverified claims. The most reliable information comes from processed images, vetted reports, and shared data. Every observation, no matter how small, shapes the scientific record. Whether you're capturing lemons jets, measuring swans fading arc, or helping track three divided by I atlas, your work joins a worldwide effort. This is a season where amateur astronomers work alongside professionals. And the next breakthrough could come from any backyard telescope. As these comets brighten and fade, the discovery window is open, but closing fast. In 2025, our solar system hosts one interstellar object, three divided by I Atlas, and three major comets, all reaching their closest sun approaches within four months. This alignment, documented through international surveys and community campaigns, gives an unprecedented view of comet behavior and solar interaction. The Tenerife campaign captured Lemon's twin jets changing in real time, while three, divided by I Atlas, waits behind the sun for November analysis. As a physicist, I find this moment breathtaking. We're not just collecting orbital details or studying fragments of ice. We're witnessing the universe in motion, alive with energy and mystery. Every signal from these comets, every flicker of light, carries information billions of years old. K1 Atlas may still surprise us. Solar storms may tear its tail apart. Three divided by I Atlas may merge from behind the sun changed forever. But whatever happens, one thing is certain. When rare visitors like these converge, they remind us how much we still have to learn about our cosmic origins. For me, the 2025 comet season isn't just about astronomy. It's about curiosity, the, the human drive to understand who we are and where we came from, written across the sky in trails of dust and ice, 